Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about airdrop and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is why is airdrop not showing up on your Mac? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to use airdrop on your Mac? Well, that's pretty easy. Airdrop is an easy way to share files and also share photos and videos from your Mac. And it's all handled here in the finder section on your Mac. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But first, what you want to do is open up your finder. How you do that is you open up the dock down here. Once you've opened up the dock, go ahead and just click on this finder. Then this section is going to pop up and it shows all of your different files that you have on your Mac. Now, in order to make the proper adjustments on your airdrop, click right here on airdrop, which is on the left of your screen. Once you've clicked there, then your airdrop is going to pop up. Now, the most common reason why airdrop does not show up on your Mac or on someone else's Mac is going to be the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. So as you can see, I've opened up my airdrop, but it says right here, I need to turn on my Wi-Fi and my Bluetooth. How do you do that? Well, you can easily just click on this button right here and your Mac will connect. Or an alternative is you can look up here on the top right. Okay. See here on the top right, you're going to have these two buttons. Here is the Bluetooth button. And then here is the Wi-Fi. So you do need to have both of these connected. So we'll connect the Bluetooth by clicking on here. Next, once you click there, go ahead and just open up your Bluetooth if your airdrop is not showing up on your Mac. Okay, once you do that, then you can go ahead and connect to other Bluetooth devices, but you don't need to do that in order to have your airdrop device connecting. Now, once you've done that, you can scroll back here and then you look here in the finder menu. And as you can see right here, the turn on Bluetooth has now disappeared. Next, we need to turn on the Wi-Fi. So you can, again, click on this button if your airdrop is not showing up on your Mac, or you can click on on the Wi-Fi here on the top right, whichever is easier. So I click on the Wi-Fi button and then I'll just turn on the Wi-Fi here. Okay, so now I have connected to my Wi-Fi network and let me go back to the airdrop section. Okay, so here we are back in the airdrop section. And now you can see my airdrop is now showing up. Now you need to make sure these settings are correct. So you can see that everyone can see me on airdrop. Now you have a couple of different options when you click on there. You can choose everyone, contacts or no one. So if you are going to be receiving documents on airdrop through your Mac, you need to make sure you have everyone or contacts only. If you have no one, then your computer will not show up here on the airdrop to share files with. So as you can see right here, the iPhone is showing up here on my airdrop. However, if you click on no one, then your files will not show up here on airdrop. So make sure this section is checked for you and the other person that you are sharing on airdrop. So once you've done that, then your computer should show up on that person's airdrop. However, the settings are a little bit different on an iPhone if airdrop is not showing up on your Mac. So whoever you're sharing with, they need to change the settings on their iPhone. Let me switch over to an iPhone now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and pulled up an iPhone. So if airdrop's not showing up on your Mac, have that person check their iPhone on their settings app right here. Once they're here in settings, scroll down until you get to general, which is this gear wheel icon looking thing here in this section, have them check Check their airdrop settings on this line airdrop and then here in this section if airdrop is not showing up on your mac make sure that they have either contacts or everyone if they have airdrop receiving off it's not going to work also if you are not in their contacts then it's not going to work either so they need to check everyone don't worry they can go ahead and change those airdrop settings after you've shared those files on your mac through airdrop once you've done that then it should show up on your mac for airdrop so there you have it guys if you're wondering why airdrop is not showing up on your Mac. That's the easiest way I know how to correct it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.